So we just thought we'd do an unboxing as it were. Ruth just got these new toe separators and they're a kind of um, weird silicon rubbery feel and kind of like um, oven mitts. And you just do squidgy and you can just put them between your toes and the bits of the strap round. We're going to show you that in a minute, but this is just a close up of that. A few people have asked about these things. Um, Instagram just tried to sell them out for 20 quid. So if you're paying that much, uh, you can definitely buy them for, what did you get them for? $2.99. $2.99. And the, we, while we were doing that, I was talking about, while well, I was uh, talking about toe separators, I was talking about um, socks as well. Oh, it's gonna help me model my foot modeling. So uh, toe socks can also, there's two types of toe socks, ones with actual toes in, and then, these ones with, uh, that are more like fingerless gloves. They're a bit they're, everyone thinks they're a bit creepy, yeah. Basically, if you've got bunions from wearing tight shoes, and I get a lot of people go, well, I've got bunions and I don't wear tight shoes, and you actually look at your shoes and you do. Unless your foot, look, unless your shoes look like that, where they go out at the front, then you're wearing tight shoes. So uh, they, they, you form this shape with the toes and the big toe starts to grow a new bone out here because it wants the toe to be there to support you. So you can reduce the growth. It's been shown that you can reduce the growth um, uh, by, by, by wearing barefoot shoes or at least trying to go about more barefoot. But also there's these things, these toe separators, they're just kind of silicon, really wobbly silicon plastic. They're nothing. What did you pay for these, Ruth? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. So if Instagram tried to sell her a pair for eighteen pounds, which is obviously nonsense, and these ones are just nice cheap toe separators, and you just put them in. It's my little toe that bends in. Actually, I, I wore really big boots for work for years, and they had really wide feet. So you're just trying to get them in, and then you just walk around like that, and the feet get used to being wider. Uh, that and some of the toe exercises or you keep your, uh, the rest of your toes down and try and practice bringing your big toe up or keep the big toe down and practice bringing the other toes up, which as you can see, I, every summer when I'm walking around barefoot, I try and do it throughout the summer. And um, some people can just do it straight away. It takes me a long time. Yeah. You should, can you do that without holding your toes down? No. no. I can sometimes do it with my big toe. My foot, my, big toe up. my foot's a bit confused now I've got this thing on because you get quite a lot of stimulation for it. Um, and I've heard people say that you could sleep with these things on, um, I don't know if I sleep. but in the middle of the night, you do feel like your foot is being really spread apart. My toes are actually quite wide anyway, but you'll find it quite intense, aren't you? Yeah. Um, are you putting it the way around? Yeah, I think they go that way. Oh, Ruth's trying it that way around. So yeah, the idea of toe separators is to try and ease you out of it. So you wear it for you know, wear it for an hour or half an hour and then take it off and then try it again the next day. You're fitting them that way. We just got these in the post, so we're just playing about with these. Um, and then you've got a snazzy one that's just for your little toe, haven't you? Just a tiny toe separator. That's a really small one. And I, I wear these sometimes. Uh, sorry, I wear my toe socks sometimes. We've only just got these things. Uh, I wear my toe socks sometimes, and that if you've got nice thick toe socks, that can also do the same thing. Okay, uh, just a little bit about toe spreaders while Ruth's wearing those. Maybe I should, I should have kept that on. So these are barefoot shoes. They're, these are are these fibrum? They are. Yeah, they're these. They're these new are balance, I think. new balance. Cross new balance. Oh, are they right? Right. Oh, yeah, they've got new balance there and vibram. Um, so they're just, they look like fairly normal. These ones do, cause they've got pretty good grip. These probably for running. Um, but they've just, they're just very thin and there's just no lift. So the heel is no thicker than, um, and than the toes and you, you know, a, 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 um, a barefoot shoe, cause you can basically do that with it. And any point along it, the, the heels are quite thick on these ones, actually. Any point along it, you can bend, whereas you, you do it with a normal shoe, you can't. These are the slightly, uh, these are uh, Vivo. These are Vivo, it's a British company. Again, 
you can basically scrunch them up. They're very light. They're nice to have in your bag. When I first started walking with these, I would have these and I would have my other shoes in the bag and I would swap them and just do an hour or so on each one. Now I've got so I can basically walk barefoot. Um, I when I did my when I tore my Achilles last year, I had to start wearing heeled shoes again because it was too much on the um, uh, just on the barefoot. So I got a bunch of insoles because they come with no insoles in. I think they might you might get a spare pair with them, but um, I I just bought some insoles from um, Decathlon, very cheap, just a, I don't know five to ten pounds each, and they're varying thicknesses so that I can walk around in these now. And there's a, there's a, so there's a little heel lift in it for me because going from um, wearing boots to wearing uh, these is quite a shock. And I do recommend if you're doing that, you play about with it. You don't just get rid of all your shoes and buy these because you, you might not deal with it that well. Some people adjust with it really well. Also, if you're running, um, I, I, I would really be very careful learning to run. Uh, as as much as it's good for learning to spread your toes, which is the benefit of having the the wider front, um, it, and you're learning to use that. If you don't naturally use it, you're still going to try and use your old patterns, and it's going to it's going to be quite um, challenging for the foot. Bruce just thrown these at me. Well, these were your birthday present, weren't they? Um, these are camper. So camper, are, they're not totally barefoot. They're just very barefoot. Um, more more of a barefoot design. In fact, these ones are quite barefoot, aren't they? These are very. Uh, the heels still got. They still got a little bit of a lift in the heel there, and it still doesn't. The heel doesn't really bend that much, um, so they're they're not kind of true barefoot shoes. But they're they're pretty flexible, and they're very stylish. To think these are my ones, which I these were a birthday present to myself for a few years ago, and they're very very stylish. They look beautiful, and they're incredible to wear. Um, and these are more kind of what we'd wear if you were walking around town and they've got good, they've got good grips. The grips on these are good for both running and for walking and you don't lose out on that grip. Um, you, if you've got an arch support, you, you might not need it in these because you might be using more of your foot or you might need it more, but camper, these are just in, we're in Edinburgh and this is just in the town center. There's a shop, isn't it? They're not cheap. They're like 120. What did you, you got these off eBay for less? 70 quid on eBay. 70 quid on eBay. So on eBay, they're still 70 quid. And I think these were like 120, like I said. Um, the, as usual, there's a wider range of things I find for women than for men. But uh, uh, Vivo, definitely the British company, I've, I've got a real re wide range now. These are quite, these are an old pair and they only had a few styles. Um, definitely worth checking out. But definitely go with these in your rucksack and walk around. Uh, and swap them don't walk around for hours don't take them out for a big run on your first day of using barefoot shoes definitely something to uh, take with a pinch of salt and and slowly build up to it slowly build up to it cool hopefully that's helpful for somebody